Hello and welcome to Hops and Bros. Craft Beer 101. This week, a very special subject. We're gonna be talking about the shit you use to bring the beer from the table to your mouth. To your mouth. Cheers. For an open window on the crappy world, Max and Chris from Hops and Bros. Welcome to Hops and Bros. So this week, a very special subject. Sorry, I don't have a voice right now. I, I've been sick for six. I've been sick for a couple days, so I'm at the point where I. Anyways, uh, that's why we have two glasses. You know, usually yeah. we drink from the same glass. Where, no, never. we don't. Um, we've never done that. <laughs> never. No. Oh, we just did. I know. We yeah. mistake all the time. It's like, oh, there's a glass there. It must be mine. Oh, there's a glass right there next to it. Must be mine as well. Must be mine as We're very well. selfish people when we yeah. do the show. <laughs> and look at that. We have like a shitload of glassware there's a right bunch, there on the bunch table. Of glassware. None of so, them has beer. You've probably uh, hinted at it. We've hinted at it. Uh, we're going to be talking about our glassware. Glassware, our glassware and beer. in general. Glassware and beer. I think it's one of the most contradicted subject in the whole beer Definitely. It's, it's, it's one of those guys that no one can really 100% agree on. No, exactly. Mainly because, and that's the main problem, not problem, I guess, issue, not really issue. Anyways, the thing with beer is that taste is subjective. Everyone has a different opinion on what should taste good, yep. what tastes less good, and which one should should be where, exactly. but everyone wants to take control of, no, 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 I'm right, so this is right. I'm right, you're wrong. But that's the thing, is you, it, it's perspectives. You don't, you don't have the same perspective, you don't have the same taste buds. Maybe for you, the stout is the best style, versus someone who's gonna prefer something with a lot more bitterness. Yeah, like IPAs. Like so IPAs, maybe for yeah. you, you like that IPA glass that breaks every single time you wash yeah. it. Or it's a great looking glass, but it's so fragile. Fragile. Yeah. Or you like the Manchester, which is a nice, thick, thick hefty. glass, hefty. Perfect. I've chairs. never broken a Manchester. Never. But we've happened. broken a bunch of those little fancy glasses. The fancy little glasses, oh, we've we broke a bunch six of those. so yeah. far. Yeah. It's crazy. That's, that's a oh, lot. Yeah, yeah. That's a and lot. And you use those at work, the little tiny ones to like, uh, oh. little, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, anyways, the tiny the, one in the, front. The, yeah. Um, and we, I've broken so many of those. It's just yeah, but they're they're so cheap, fragile. So oh yeah, exactly. So glassware, where does it start <laughs> off in history, Max? Because glass is still something that I can't really wrap my <laughs> head around. Like, how do you make glass overall? I know you blow with stuff. Sand. Yeah, it's yeah. sand, but you, you heat sand and, and then, then you blow it up. Yeah. And then you cut it. That's why you have glass workers. We should meet up with the glass workers. Before glass workers were used uh, to, to, to make those delicious, or, or those glasses to bring the delicious stuff to your lips, uh, they would use pewter, pewter mugs. So those metal mugs that you've probably seen in movies or in books or whatever. War movies. Yeah, where the, you know, it's something a little more solid and basically uh, it had two purposes. The first one was to hide the fact that the beer had a bunch of sediment in it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Less less glamorous uh, exactly and the second one was uh just because you want to bring your beer from the table to your mouth it's just it's that simple so you use a pewter mug whatever you have it's the way to go yeah uh, your hands uh, your hands if you could but it's not quite as practical yeah 30 a, a, good, a good pewter mug is good a good dirty um, pewter mug so anyways so, so we, we we move from pewter mugs uh to glasses when did we move to glass well basically bars started to have a little better lighting and filtration became a thing so beers were not quite as sedimented so why not why not try to enjoy your beer in another way and looking at it not just tasting it yeah <laughs> so, so you can see the sediments floating around well it, that's at that point a lot less sediment so you could exactly. actually look at the color of the beer and go wow this is this this is a nice amber it's a nice brown ale it's a nice it's a nice beer, it's a nice, nice bouquet to Beautiful it. Beautiful beer, yeah. I love for you. Well, that was in 1920. Now, by 1930, and when the war started, uh, as soon as it ended, people came back and they switched. They stopped using those uh, those beer mugs, <laughs> and they started using the grenade ones. And the thing with the, the first ones, which was the mug with the... Um, ten sides. The, the ten sides, the ten straight sides. Uh, basically, there was this organization in the States, uh, the Brewers Organization, that had a bunch of ads. Uh, and they would use that mug, so that's one of the reasons why it huh. got popular. And then they switched from that mug to the other mug after the war, and that's why the other one became popular. Which is popular the grenade well. one, like the, the one that looks. Yeah, the grenade one, the one that looks like it's. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's I've a seen a big, few thick one. There yeah. on, um, I think Shishari Cat has a lot of them. Yeah, it's it's the kind of mug that you would see your grandpa with. It's like those very solid mugs. Yeah. 
Uh, so anyways, naturally things progressed and people started asking for, uh, I guess, smaller glasses, like th longer glasses, not quite mugs. They wanted a paint, but they wanted something a little different. There came the Nonic uh, paint, which, which is the one that goes like this, the little wave, which we have here. Right so here. that was actually one of the first Classic. glasses used to, to serve beer. Uh, and where, you ask? Well, in, in England, mostly. Uh, it was one of the most popular glasses. As you know, Germany and Belgium, they basically have a glass for every single style of beer. So yeah. a different mentality between England and between the rest of Europe, of between Europe. The, the, the rest of the beer making Europe, so Germany and Belgium, where they really had one glass for this one beer and then you would switch styles and you would have a completely different glass for that style yeah. and so on and so forth. Which is actually interesting. It's an interesting little historical fact when you yeah, look back at it. Because it fits right <laughs> into my right glass for the right style exactly. category too. Did I have something else I wanted you to You have something else, that. I'm pretty sure. I didn't want it to jump to the yeah. second horse, but your seg will look so fantastic. It's beautifully phrased out that I was a little oh, bit I'm lost, so just go ahead. To, uh, just go go on. On. I didn't go want to cut place. you no, off. It's fine, it was just fine. like the perfect... Sorry, man. Yeah, I lost Sorry. it. It's good. Go ahead. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Yes, so speaking of England, uh, they have one glass that fits all. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right so, before the review, I pointed it out. You, you named all the yeah. styles for this particular like, paint, uh, paint glass. And, I like and paint what, glass. What are the styles exactly? Lager, ales, IPAs, porter, and stouts. So not all of them, but most of them, pretty most much all England styles. Yeah, like, exactly. Or that were popular in and England never, anyways. Never got no. on my mind. I just wrote it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah pint glass. <laughs> Logic, I drink my yeah. ales in there, fits an IPA, but um, then the goblet and callus. So uh, Max talked about the Belgians, so they have those nice big kind of like bowl beers, like it's super wide glasses, not too tall. So you have like a full round of like a big bowl of beer. Mm -hmm. It's the feeling they have, it's for big bowl Belgian beers. The Belgians like, love to um, have like a big bowl Lef. of beer. I feel like I've seen Le Lef, Lef glasses, glasses big. Really like, yeah. Ogarden is like a big pool of yeah. beer. Uh, it's a big thick glass at the same time. So Belgians, it's not even, Ugarden is not Belgian. Never mind. Sorry, Belgians, you don't brew Ugarden. Ugarden was, uh, where is it from? Uh, it's from Netherlands. Really, eh? Yeah. Hmm. Damn. So, moving on to the Germans, the Pilsner glass. So the tall one, because the Germans, they drink in the, those tall ones. They also have the classic steins, like the yeah. big ones with the cap so you can move around your beer and don't spill it The Oktoberfest ones, you know, where you see in, the, in those movies. Or the boots. Yeah. The boots, the yeah, boots. Das Boots. Das Boots. Uh, it goes Which with if, if you haven't seen Beer Fest, you definitely have to check out Beer Fest. It's, what, it's a great movie. It's if, awesome. If you can nail Broken the Broken Lizard. Move, nail it. The which one? The, the, the move at the end? Oh yeah, the little you move go. when you're checking a, 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 a Das Boot. Yeah, anyway, so continue please. I didn't yes. want to interrupt you with the uh, I interrupted Fest. you, so it's all right. I, I, I've you, seen you, Beer you Fest so often. I love that movie so much. We and it, it's it got... Again. It's got a good story, it's got some good characters, but in, in like at its core, it's it's a very simple movie that's made just to like laugh a little like like and American beer. Yeah. Like it's American, American pie. pie with beer. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of American Pie as well. American Pie is so stupid, but it's so good. Anyways, it's continue. perfect. Continue. Um, then the Wizen, so it's the 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 it looks like a like a beautiful lady. You know? Okay, yeah. Nice little curves, it's fantastic. Brings out all those fruity floral flavors from a Wizen, a white beer, like perfectly aimed to drop a nice little slice of fruit in there to make it just that's the only word I have zesty I don't know okay <clears throat> snifter so this one I have a special mention for it because it's it, the one we've been using for a while we've been using for a while we'll still be using snifters uh, we moved on to Deku's uh, main reason why I'm just in love with Deku's but my first love was a snifter so yeah, big double awesome, IPAs man. really cool yeah. but the Teku. Now let's talk about it. You guys might be pissed off because we switched up to Tekus. They're a little bit more expensive. They look super fancy. We're a little bit snobbish. We're not really snobbish. Um, but look at that. It looks nice. It's on a stem so it uh, saves the beer from getting warm from holding it. At the same time it's also compressed. So you look at the shape of the glass. It compresses itself to the top. So narrows down all the flavors in there so you don't fill up your glass to one quarter, one third. That's so all the, the aromas limit. that kind of go to that little hole exactly. on the top. Don't fill it up, it's not yeah. worth it. Then the little lip right here on the side creates a little bit of oxy oxy oxygenation Oxidation. Yeah. Uh, in your mouth when you're drinking the beer. Makes it a little bit more, aerates the beer, creates the flavors, brings out all the flavors. 
this is what it's written on the box. Nice. Uh, for my part, I just enjoy drinking in those glasses. They oh, look pretty nice. Cool. It's not an ad <laughs> right off the bat. It's not an ad. Um, but I do think it's nice to drink yeah. uh, those beers in the tech booth. But I heard big multi beers are kind of like a downside of those glasses. Take a snifter for big multi beers because uh, it concentrates a lot of maltiness and you lose the, all the other aromas from it. That was my teku rant. Okay, perfect. But um, all those glassware, Max, yeah. you can't enjoy them if it's not clean. That's true. This is an issue. And the dirty glass, dirty beer glass police, I love his name, uh, on Instagram, he's police. there. He takes the pictures of like Instagrammers that yeah. take beer pictures of dirty glassware because you can easily spot it from your seat at home. So mm. when you see little bubbles coming out from the middle of the glass, not from the top or the bottom, from the middle, means your glass is dirty. So dirty you have a little bit there. of like dirt in there that like the, uh, the uh, carbonation grabs yeah. onto it and, and it bubbles stays out stuck from there it. And okay. Exactly. Mm. So uh, clean your glassware, everyone. Clean it up. Uh, just invest a little bit more time, clean it up uh, with your hands. So what dry does it, it do up. when it's clean versus dirty? Like, does it affect so the beer in any way? When, uh, yeah, on the flavor. So okay. um, when it's dirty, you'll lose the head. A lot okay. of head when it's dirty. That's that's one thing I really realized at the same time. And it makes the beer look yeah, not yeah, yeah. nice, not appealing. Uh, and some places, like some restaurants, also they clean up too fast. You get a lot of dirt and also still chemicals in the oh, glass. Yeah, and it scraps yeah. up the flavors of the beer. So be careful. And if you do have a dirty glassware, when you go to a pub, bar, restaurant, uh, feel free to send it back to get a clean glassware back. Because the beer, um, it's made in all this clean equipment, mm -hmm. then drop in a dirty glass. Yeah, so you've just ruined every every single step of it. Yeah, exactly. So that's what my rant about dirty glassware was all about, um, and it's also a really big part of uh, your drinking experience. It's look it look nice, brings out all the flavors, and just makes better pictures. Nice. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Anything so that um, or um... not at all. All right. Not so I've all, got a man. closing statement. Closing statement. That's important. Yes. Um, in the end, one glass is not necessarily better than the other. The glass that you like drinking beer out of is a glass that you should be drinking the beer out of. Now, yes, some glasses are really made to trap the aromas, but when it comes to flavor, when it comes to taste, everyone has different tastes, different, different exactly. taste buds, so you won't have the same experience. Get the beer glass you like and stick to it. Or try something else. You might find something that you really like that's something completely different. Like um, George Orwell, the author, uh, used to like his beer out of uh, ceramic mugs. Like, like the China mugs. The China you mugs. Know? Like uh, yeah. Bose had. Like Bose had, yeah, exactly. Or even just like a tea uh, thing in ceramic, you know? Oh. Like, and I've had beer out of those ceramic glasses and I was pleasantly surprised every time. So. Try different things. Maybe the pewter glass is something we should be bringing back. Maybe it does add something metallic to the beer that's good. Who knows? Which means the question this week, what's your favorite glassware? Yeah. What's your favorite beer glass out there in your beer glass thing? So let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next week. Next week for another Craft Beer 101. And in two days for another review. Yeah, and five days for another Sunday wildcard. And seven for another Craft Beer 101. That's crazy. And then nine for another review. So you have to subscribe if you want all that <laughs> nice package. I guess that's what I was going at. <laughs>